Hey, what's up guys, Steven here and welcome to my quick first look and unboxing video on the Lenovo IdeaPad 100. So this is a 15 inch notebook, it's actually the IBD model, there are different configurations and you can find all of them down below in the description. So it's a 400 euro notebook or dollar notebook depending on your location. If you want to see something more expensive, Flo has now got the Asus Sambook, which is a quite good notebook, so check out his review. And I would say, um, let's go directly started and let's check out here the IdeaPad 100. Alright guys, here's the package, so that's the Lenovo IdeaPad 100, and yeah, I've got here the base model, so it's basically a 15.6 inch notebook coming with a pixel resolution of 1366 times 768 pixels, and yeah, um, it runs an Intel Core i3-5005U, so um, the base clock is 2 GHz, it comes with 4 GB of RAM, so um, there are different versions for sure, 500 GB uh, sorry, um, hard drive for sure, and yeah, Intel H. HD graphics, so onboard graphics. Okay, um, then let's open up the box. Probably I did it the wrong way. Actually, we should get started here at the top. Um, talking and opening up boxes is not so easy as you guys might think. And there we go. So, why have I got this notebook? Maybe let's talk about this while I open up this um, box here. So this notebook is actually just for doing office stuff, so um, yeah, to print invoices and such things. Actually, um, yeah, no ga really gaming performance, but you know Lenovo does some pretty nice notebooks, so um, the quality is quite good and reliable, and this is actually um, why we've got it. So it just comes here with a power supply, which is really kind of small, the notebook itself, and some paperwork. And this is what we've got here inside. So let's have a quick look here at the power supply. And yeah, the power supply it looks pretty cool. It looks a little bit like a black Apple power supply. Um, we can have a look here at the rating. Actually, it's here. So um, yeah, the output it's 20 volts and 2.25 amps. So that's a maximum of around 40 watts. And yeah, check it out, guys. So this is how it looks like. Um, yeah, really small. DC in check here and looks pretty cool. So we have here the paperwork, we have here several crap which nobody is actually um, yeah, checking out and here we have the notebook itself and that's what you guys are waiting for so let's get out of the protection bag and there we go. So yeah, for a 400 euro notebook, which is a very low price actually, the Lenovo comes with some pretty nice design. So it has some nice texture, which looks a bit like some yeah, carbon, but actually just some plastic dots here, but looks pretty cool. We have the Lenovo logo here at the top. Let's flip it around and here the bottom side, so everything plastic here. Um, we have four rubber stands, so one in each corner. We have the Windows um, logo. So here at the bottom, for instance, fan, yeah, and in order to get some um, things out. So um, here we have a battery, which I'm not really sure how to detach because there is actually no release button, but we'll check it out just in a second. We have here the CD drive and yeah, that's it from the bottom side. So let's flip it up again and there we go. All right, so the display itself, it's really kind of thin, so that looks pretty cool. And here's the notebook from, yeah, from the inside. So guys, here's the power supply slash charger. Let's have a closer look at it. And yeah, as you can see, it looks almost like an Apple charger. So I would say from the form factor, which you plug directly into your wall. Um, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit thicker. And yeah, um, almost looks like, like you could replace the plugs, but well, um, it's uh, actually one piece. So um, it comes for different countries with different connectors for sure, but you can't really get this out. Um, if we check out the output here, then you will see um, this one here actually outputs 45 watts so not a huge power consumption um, maximum so 20 volts and 2.25 amps is the maximum has here a normal DC in check and the bad thing is that the cable is not very long so around 1 meter 50 to 1 meter 80 um, haven't really measured it but it doesn't look very long so uh, for instance my MSI G G70 has a way longer cable and yeah almost sometimes even this cable is too short for me so this could be a little bit longer or at least you have to use an extender cable. So here's the notebook and my first impression so the first feeling yeah it's quite okay now like every 400 euro notebook it's completely made out of plastic 
but um, the plastic quality itself and the design is not too bad at all. The Lenovo logo here at the top and yeah, the texture of the plastic looks and feels pretty good. And yeah, it's not um, super heavy, it weighs around 2.3 kilograms and um, the thickness is like 22 millimeters, so also not too big and too heavy to carry it around. And you've seen the charger before, so this is actually quite portable. Now here on the back side we have um, yeah, um, the serial number and everything and here you can see the exact model number and it also has here a little fan so here on the bottom side looks like 16, actually less, um, that's 40 millimeters or something like that. Um, we have here some ventilation holes and here we have the battery. I'm not really sure how to detach it because there is no release here on the bottom side but we're going to find it out. Okay um, yeah that's it here from the top and bottom side and now let's have a look at the connectors. So what you can see here here on this side is that it has um, here the power button which is really strange because it's placed here on the left side of the frame and not somewhere inside so I'm not really sure if you can essentially just um, yeah, turn it on in your pocket or maybe it won't even turn on um, if the lid is closed. It has a 3.5mm headphone jack, it has an USB 3.0 port which um, is indicated here by um, yeah, the blue plastic thing. Um, we have here another USB port, then we have HDMI output, we have an Ethernet jack and we have here the power in connector and last but not least, I'm not really sure what that thing here is. Alright guys, so I just found out what that little thing is. So this is basically um, like a reset button and you can use a little metal pin to push it in. And um, if you press that when the device is off and then you can actually boot um, the Lenovo recovery or somehow get into the BIOS. So I'm not going to use it here right now, but probably I'll do a tutorial on that. Now let's continue here with the front side. So as you can see here we have an SD card reader and on the left side we have a power LED and a um, yeah, battery LED which indicates if it's charging or not. Okay, um, if we just rotate it here to the right side, here we have the um, CD drive, so also um, actually DVD drive with a burner and here we have a lock in case if you need that. Alright, so yeah, that's a notebook here from all sides. Looks pretty cool in my opinion for a very cheap notebook and now I would say let's open up the lid and let's go and let's check it out. So let's switch it on and let's have a closer look here at the body and it feels pretty strange that the power button is here on the left side so as you can see the um, yeah, charging LED indicates that the device is charging and the power button feels a little bit strange to press so yeah actually it should boot here right now. Power button is really awkward but yeah um, this is my first idea pad and yeah um, somehow I missed the button so it's not booting right now. So the device is up and running, um, so far as I can see, first look at the display, now yeah, resolution okay, so yeah, not some super high resolution for the price, really okay. Um, the display, so the panel, is actually very thin and this is something I really like about it, so the top here, really thin. It has here a 720p webcam, um, also it has a microphone included and yeah, um, it's quite stable, so this is sturdy, looks pretty good. Now the bezels, they are not too thick, so the bottom bezel here, that's really huge and the top also, but the side bezels are looking okay. Alright, so booting takes quite a long time, I'm actually just setting up some things. Alright, so we have some stickers, as always the touchpad, um, it's hard plastic, so feels not too bad at all. The one click button, which you can see here right under the touchpad, is something I don't like too much. Another sticker here with the resolution, HD resolution, it has that one key recovery. So if you fuck something up, you just have to press the button I've shown you before and then you can actually restore everything. So it has some kind of hidden partition, I guess. All right, so the keyboard feels okay. Now it has some very flat buttons, so MacBook style, but some kind of cheap plastic. Now I'm typing, feels not so super good also if you can see if I type harder here bends a lot so body quality not so super nice but I'm um, quite okay I will quickly set it up have to do everything here in German because it's for um, our German office here and um, yeah um, the speakers here at the top so here you can see them not really sure about the sound quality but we can have a look at that later on and um, the hinges here um, they're here in some kind of um, hexagon bar and um, yeah Looks pretty stable, but also a little bit awkward. Okay, then I will quickly set it up and then let's have a look at some basic benchmarks and how smooth it is in the operating system. Alright guys, so I've completed the initial setup on the notebook and let me give you my feedback and my first impression here on the notebook. So far as I can say, um, the notebook itself is pretty snappy. It runs Windows 10, um, yeah, 64 bits, so I'm fully supported by the i3 processor. And yeah, everything here is really smooth, all of the 4 gigs of RAM. So for the price, pretty okay. 
Now regarding the feeling, so the touchpad itself is kind of crappy, um, pretty hard here, also not really nice material, and the buttons here, yeah, um, they don't feel so good. Now the key, the keyboard, so um, the buttons itself, they're very flat, and I have a little bit of um, a problem while typing, so to hit the buttons. Now um, it feels a little bit strange, and you probably have to get used to those flat buttons, and also the feeling is not as good. I mean, they look nice just like on the MacBook, but the feeling is totally different, and also the whole keyboard here bends a lot while typing. Okay, um, the speakers. The speakers are probably the worst thing. So the speakers are really totally crappy. Let me show you here a YouTube movie here on my channel. And if you listen to the speakers, it's just like a smartphone speaker. There's zero bass. All of the mids are really like there are no mids, and it sounds really totally flat. So there we go. And this is maximum volume. And I can barely hear anything. So. They, they sound really terrible. If you want to use that notebook for movie playback, then without external speakers, it's totally crap. All right, then I did run some benchmarks. So for instance here, um, yeah, Lenovo on Geekbench 3. So let me quickly zoom in here a little bit. So here are the benchmark results. And yeah, as you can see, 1,800 single core and 3,900, something like that, multi-core. Now, yeah, um, Windows 10, 64 bits, fully supported. But, well, um, just to be fair, um, it was a 32 bit benchmark because you actually have to pay for the license, which we're probably going to do when we, um, more into notebook reviews. We have an Intel Core i3 5500U running at 2 GHz and yet yeah, a dual core CPU, the 4 gigs of RAM, as you can see. And yeah, if you want to see some more scores, we'll leave your links to benchmarks down below in the description. But honestly, I have to say, as an office notebook, a media notebook, um, if you, um, don't keep in mind, that the speakers are crappy it's really good so also the movie playback is absolutely smooth and the battery runtime is also quite good as well as the charging time so um yeah full runtime it says in nine hours for sure um you can't really get for nine hours with that but um i have to say it sounds pretty good now um i also have your cpu c on the desktop so let's quickly have a look here at the hardware specifications and there we go so, as you can see, um, the Core i3, what we have seen before, and yeah, 2 GHz is the clock. Then, yeah, motherboard made by Lenovo, and um, yeah, so far as I can see, I think it's one module with 4 GB, I'm not really sure if you can update that. Also, something which is kind of strange is that in order to remove the battery, which is seated here, you have to unscrew the whole back, and this is really strange. Now, the graphics, it's the Intel HD Graphics 5500. Well, it's integrated into the chipset, and it's not really the best, but um, you're still able to play lower 3D games like Minecraft, also with a quite okay frame rate. Now, let me start the game and let me show you here um, how this here performs. So guys, we're now in the game Minecraft. Uh, well, um, the color reproduction of this play is not so super nice. So this is something I really noticed here in the game, if you have a look at the colors and the viewing angles of the display. But yeah, um, it's quite okay. Now, the frame rate during gaming, it's also okay, so we can have a look at that. Now, I get up to a maximum, really, of 50 FPS in closed areas, but, well, as soon as it starts rendering larger areas, so if the people around you for sure frame rate is going to drop but um so far the um, gaming experience is quite okay so um you can definitely play minecraft and lower 3d games absolutely no problem on that notebook but yeah just keep in mind speakers are terrible so probably use a headset and it's not a gaming machine with the intel hd graphics but has a quite a solid performance for casual games so this was our first quick look and unboxing video here on the lenovo ideapad 100 ibd 15 inch version so far i have to say um as media notebook probably not the best since the display is not really the best and the speakers yeah they sound really terrible probably one of the worst notebook speakers i've ever heard then um for casual gaming yes okay if you yeah um don't need a lot of performance because of the intel hd graphics which is not really the best then um yeah um for an office notebook it's quite okay this is actually what we are going to use it for so the keyboard in my opinion does not feel so good at least um i just need um, a little bit of time to get used to it and the touchpad itself has some kind of crappy material also the plastic here of the notebook is um, really a little bit hard so the same goes for the touchpad material all in all for the price is really okay it's it's looking good has a good battery life and it gets a job done for school office or um yeah homework all right guys so thanks for watching this make sure you subscribe that you don't miss any more um, reviews or unboxings and see you soon in the next one bye bye